April 1949, Rome. A man steps down from a train platform. Now, in his 40s, he retains the stunning good looks that made many women fall for him. He's only got one good suit and hardly any money. He's traveling with a fake passport under a false name, a name which might be connected to serious crimes he's committed. And that's why he's on the run. This man has been indicted for mass murder, for his starring role in perhaps the most evil regime the world has ever known. Once he was at the pinnacle of this system, a baron, a general, governor of a vast territory, a man who lived in a palace with millions of people under his rule. He has a beautiful wife, a former skiing champion who adores him and their six much-loved children. Once, the couple delighted in the elegant piano recitals of his boss, a man who by now has been captured, tried, convicted and executed. For three years, he has escaped capture, dodging the authorities, living high in the mountains between Austria and Italy. A young soldier has helped him as he moved from peak to peak, from shepherd's hut to shepherd's hut. And now he's come to Rome, penniless and separated from the family he loves. But he has friends in high places, and some of them are wanted, like him. Some hold high office in the Vatican, and others are spies. The Cold War has broken out. Who knows which side they really work for, but they'd like to recruit him. He's a man who could be very useful to them, and if he refuses to join in their espionage plots, well, that could be dangerous, very dangerous. All he wants is help to evade justice, to escape on the secret route to South America. He never does leave Rome. In just three months, he'll be dead, his body charred black. His story is one of murder, impunity, betrayal, suspicion, and love. <laughs>